Was it clear? It's never clear. Mm. And it'll never be clear, you know, and nothing's done until it's done. But I think the big bet was, will streaming work? Mm. And does the freemium model make sense? Because the owners of the content, they don't like freemium. They, you, you, you've watched it all play out, Taylor Swift, everything. They don't want people to have their art for free. And the concept of usage drives more usage, which drives monetization, was completely new. It feels obvious because now streaming has overtaken downloads and we've seen what's happened with iTunes and, and Apple. But back in sort of 2010, when we were having the conversations, the big bet was A, streaming, B, freemium. Mm. And then, of course, the, the guys who invented it all were Spotify. So... You know, it was a multi-pronged decision, but uh, in the end, it's always about the team. There's just clarity of vision. And I think this is what we found with a lot of our Nordic investments is there's such clarity of vision, and it's always about the long term. You're used to this in the Valley, but one of the things we've had to get over in Europe is to build businesses that look good, that short term, and you're in, you're out. And one characteristic that we've seen from a number of our Nordic investments, and I'm not exactly sure why, it's always about building something for the very long term. And that was clear from the beginning.